Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rob's Ride. This is Rob keeping it 100 with all things amusement. And if you're watching this, exams are real. So going to an amusement park is a very exciting moment in a lot of people's lives. For some people, they go to amusement parks all the time. They don't think twice about it. And for others, it's a very rare occasion. And so it's very special. It may be a little difficult thinking about what really should I wear going into this amusement park? No one wants to go to an amusement park and then end up getting embarrassed. Who wants to be Bush Gardens bashful? Who wants to be the King's Dominion dumbass? Don't be King's Island ignorant. So I'm here to back you guys up and keep it 100 about what shirt would be appropriate for going into the amusement park. Wear a white t-shirt if you're basic as fuck. Wear a colored t-shirt if you feel like matching your attire will get you further in line. I mean, it may make you feel better. Wear a tie-dye shirt if you don't care what other people think about you. See, if I spill something on my shirt, who's gonna be laughing now, huh? Wear graphic tees if you have so much personality. Look at me, I have so many friends. Or, if you're on a school trip. My family reunion dragged me here. I just want to feel a part of something. Wear a string tank top if you want to have a distinctive tan line. Oh my god, I forgot suntan lotion. Let me ask that mother whose hair looks like a bird's nest. I would ask Ranisha, but she's black. Wear a tank top if you're more armed than body. Uh, I just got out of bed. Yeah, wear that if you smell like Funyuns. I just want to show all the ladies what a hairy chest and two gallons of sweat looks like. Wear a t-shirt with the sleeves cut off if you don't know what a fucking shirt is. You're just asking for a nip slip. We all know you don't want to wear a shirt, but we all want you to. Wear a blouse if you know it's a theme park, but you still have some class. I hope they have baby wipes in this restroom. No worries, I kept a pack in my purse right next to the butterscotch I smuggled in. Wear a crop top or a sports bra if you didn't come to rides rides. You came for people to ride you. As long as the bra underneath is a different color, it's a different outfit. Wear a bikini top if you say you're just gonna go to the water park. Girl, put some damn clothes on. Girl, d just do what you gotta do to bribe those employees to get you an extra sauce. Can I get an extra ranch? Wear a tube top if you're trying to show everybody that wearing a wristband as a top is acceptable. You thought you were cute slipping on that damn Starbucks sleeve and calling it a shirt? Look at me, boys, I'm venti. What are you, a bottled beverage? <laughs> this, this, is your, this is your shirt right now. Just get ready to look like you're doing the chicken dance all day when you're trying to pull that shit up. <laughs> Wear a jean jacket if you feel like just because the rides go upside down, fashion is too. Wear a turtleneck if it's a Christmas event. If it's any other event, this is highly inappropriate. If I don't see some hot chocolate in your hands, your neck better be visible. Wear a dress shirt if you're professional at something and you're trying to show it off. Nobody cares. They're just confused why you decided to wear that shirt and have those distinctive sweat stains underneath your armpits. Wear a hoodie if you want to get stopped by the security guard. Sorry, I, I had to. Hashtag BLM. Yeah, wear that if you saw like that one cloud in the sky and you're like, nope, it might rain, I'm not taking any chances. Or you're like, I'm gonna tie this around my hips if it gets too hot. I also ate a mayonnaise sandwich and animal crackers for breakfast. Or you should wear a hoodie if you have titties and you're not supposed to. Wear a sweater if parks just opened or are about to close for the season. Please have taste. Ugly sweaters are reserved for your family and your family only. Or you can wear a nice looking sweater if you think that a Park Midway is a Banana Republic runaway. Wear a sweater vest if you don't know what a fucking amusement park is. Wear a long sleeve shirt if you're too cool to look at the weather. As long as you're not wearing shorts and some flip flops. If you're wearing that, we're gonna have some problems because of your horrid decision. Yeah, you'll wear a long sleeve shirt if you think a meteorologist is the person that studies how meaty your cheeseburgers are. Or you can wear a long sleeve shirt if you're self-conscious about how hairy your arms are. Wear a polo if you're supposed to be at work and you're skipping, and your boss may be skipping as well, and at the same park. I, I, I have to step out, I have to make this call. You're probably the type that will scream at your daughter trying to get an ice cream cone. Can't you see I'm trying to email messages right now? The one person on Microsoft Outlook right now. Wear an athletic shirt if you consider walking in an amusement park exercise. I'm getting so much fitness in today. If I could wear a walking tracker as a shirt, I would. Or you can wear this if you don't want to show sweat. Wearing this means you shop at Dick's. Or you are a dick. 
Wear a park shirt if you're a roller coaster enthusiast and you're trying to force everybody around you to ask a question about the park. Yes, I did get this shirt in 1993 because King Cobra, Adventure Express, and Top Gun is on it. But you know what isn't? Nickelodeon themes. Or you can wear this shirt if you have more money than reasonable people who see that a Walmart quality shirt shouldn't cost $60. You should also wear this shirt if you want to cher cherish your memories. And the next time you're gonna go to an amusement park is when your unborn children is getting their PhD. Wear no shirt if you give no fucks. Thank you guys for watching. You know, I'm just trying to help everybody out. And, you know, I just know everything about roller coaster culture. So, <laughs> thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it. Hit that thumbs up. Um, please share, comment below, let me know what you think. And please tell me about what videos you would like to see. If you thought I was the roller coaster crafter, hit subscribe and I'll come back with a new video.